as well. Doesn't always go to a different committee. Mr. Rano, you're recognized. Both of you. For inviting us today and for all your work, I thank my colleague, uh, Jennifer, for uh, all her work. Mr. Resco, do you believe the Financial Oversight and Management Board for Puerto Rico is subject to the oversight power of the Congress? Do you believe the board is accountable to Congress? Yes, sir. We are a creature of Congress. And I have to tell you that I am very disappointed that a letter that my sister and friend, uh, Ms. Velasquez, and I wrote on August 22nd expressing our concerns over the lack of transparency and independent supervision over the spending decisions made by the board uh, has not been answered. Yes, sir. We had an answer for you. We were waiting to complete our audit and the hurricane hit. That response should be received within 24 hours because we have now completed our audit, which we wanted to attach to the response. Okay. Well, I appreciate as things get somewhat to normal that we could get a response. Absolutely, sir. As a result of Hurricane Maria, will the board change its austerity-based plan on the island, and how does it plan to improve the finances of the government of Puerto Rico at a time in which the government is having very little, if any, revenues. First and foremost, the board immediately withdrew its uh, petition to fully enforce the fiscal plan, which included those furloughs, and made the statement that it will not look at re uh, reinstating those furloughs at least uh, within the first year. In terms of how we look at improving the revenues, in the number one issue we'll keep returning to is obviously electricity. Um, so number one, the focus of the board is in the appointment of the CTO and getting the electricity back for all the reasons you've described, but not, uh, not less as well, the ability to actually have a revenue generation on the island which can provide tax revenue for the running of the government. Beyond that, we will continue to look at all measures over the next few months in terms of improving compliance, the kinds of things we looked at before, in terms of reducing expenditures wherever possible. In the end, we will have to be looking at looking at the population in Puerto Rico and how we can assure that we can provide the government services necessary for that population with the revenues that we have and the support of the federal government and Congress in the interim to provide the liquidity that we cannot generate. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Samad, you were appointed uh, coordinator by the board and uh, you have two titles with the board. And while I supported your appointment, and I did as CTO, I do have some concerns about you and the board upholding collective bargaining agreements. What are your goals and what do you hope to accomplish in this new role? Do you plan to privatize PREPA or open the electricity market up for competition? And how do you plan to make PREPA more efficient, effective, and honest? Sir, we are developing a transformation plan for PREPA. Uh, the exit of, or the approval of that plan <clears throat> under the plan of adjustment will be a legally binding document. Among the options in there are a number of um, uses of private capital for that. Uh, with regards to your question to collective bargaining, uh, we see any of those options as compatible with current labor practices. Well, I hope that you keep us informed. As I, my first question was about, you know, we don't want to uh, micromanage, and the chairman I know doesn't want to micromanage, but keeping us informed is very important because eventually we get asked questions too, yes, sir. back home in our districts and throughout the nation and from Puerto Rico. Yes, sir. We will keep social, you informed. Social media has a wonderful way of asking you questions, even if you're not there. Yes, sir. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Mayor, thank you for all you do. I, I can't imagine being a mayor of, of Puerto Rico at this time. I can't imagine being the governor at this time. Uh, Absolutely. I know that there was a feeling that you were prepared, both the mayor and the central government. Looking back now, and this is not about, you know, criticizing anybody. Is there something you as mayor could have done to be more prepared 
and the central government could have done to be more prepared? Or was this so devastating that you never saw it coming? The, this is the first time. That I think we all going to learn from this. And after this, we got to sit down and, and establish um, uh, a new form uh, to receive the, this storms. This is why we are asking you for the help yeah. and, and doing things different. If, if we want different results, we got to do, do things different. Um, I so hate to cut you off, Mr. Mayor.